Hey guys, today we're checking out this WorkPro conduit level. Now I bought this without realizing that it was made by Great Star. If you don't know who Great Star is, they're the company that ruined ShopVac, and they're currently trying to ruin SK. Oh well, I doubt they could screw up a level. Let's get this thing out of here. Some kind of instructions, we don't need those. So here it is. It's made out of aluminum. The thumb screw on it spins freely. There is some play in the threads. Not a lot, but there's definitely some play there. There's a one inch ruler on the side. There's some more numbers printed on the other side. Not sure what those are. Probably some kind of metric thing. There's magnets on the bottom. The one under the vial is flush with the bottom, while the one on the tip is recessed. I'm not sure if that was done on purpose or not. That seems a bit odd. The purpose of these is to clamp it on the end of a piece of conduit and then you look at the level while you're bending the conduit to make sure you get to 90 degrees. This is going to work much better than what I was using before. I would put this magnetic level onto the conduit and it would always fall off while I was bending. I also wanted one that had just one level in it. A lot of the other ones have three or four levels for different angles. There's definitely an art to bending conduit that I apparently haven't learned yet, so I just do all of my bends at 90 degrees. It's much easier that way. Let's try using this on this scrap piece of conduit and see what happens. Now here I need to rotate the level. I had it pointing the other way at first, but when I started bending it moved. That's on the conduit, not the level. So here we are getting close to 90 degrees. That's about as good as I can get it. I think it came out pretty good. Now let's go check out the magnet. Yeah, that works. Seems to have a pretty good grip too. Let's see how accurate the level is. Here it is up against my full-size Empire level. Looks about the same. Eh, that's good enough for me. You know, this tool isn't that bad. What kind of negative things can I say about it? I guess some of the anodizing already wore off the aluminum on the corners here. You can barely see it, but it is starting to wear off. Also, you can't stand it up on its end like this. The front surface here is not machined. Only the one side surface is actually machined. I don't know, guys. I might have found a Great Star tool that I actually kind of like. I still won't recommend it because I don't like their business practices. But these are under 10 bucks on Amazon. There's numerous other brands selling them too. I see Klein has one for $3 more. For all I know that Klein is made in the same factory. It looks like the Chad tier model is this one from LevTech. That one's made in Taiwan. If you want one, I'd just get whichever one is the cheapest. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.